Welcome. This is the Daily News on Rema TV. I am Neil Muji. For our headlines, Nigerian President Bola Ahmed Tinubu signs data protection bill into law. Angry tanker drivers block NSADC office in Rivers. No regrets snobbing Super Eagles for England, says Eberichi Izzy. Shantizel shares track list for upcoming album called Dues. Let's take a short break and we'll be right back. Welcome back. The news in full. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has signed the Nigeria Data Protection Bill 2023 into law. The Nigeria Data Protection Act 2023 provides a legal framework for the protection of personal information and the practice of data protection in Nigeria. Dr. Vincent Olatunji, the National Commissioner of Nigeria Data Protection Bureau, said this at the NDPD Strategic Roadmap and Action Plan Validation Workshop in Abuja. The bill was sent to the Senate and House of Representatives for consideration and passage on Tuesday, April 4, 2023, via a letter from the former President Muhammad Buhari. The commission will be led by a national commissioner with the responsibility of regulating the process of personal information. Earlier today, angry petroleum tanker drivers blocked the entrance gate of the Oluaba Sanjo Road Office of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps NSCDC, in Port Harcourt, River State. The protesting tanker drivers are demanding the release of four of their trucks seized by officials of the command in August last year. The confiscated trucks had products including PMS inside. One of the protesting drivers, Gifton Madu, said the trucks had genuine clearance from the PPMC depot. He said, the trucks had genuine clearance for the PPNC depot and the driver's consent showed them all the papers, but they went ahead to confiscate the trucks. We are here to press home our demand that they should release the trucks, end of quote. Civil Defense spokesman Femi Ayodele said the PMS in the truck was suspicious given the reason why it was impounded. On sports, Eberichi Eze is set to make his appearance for England after being called up by Garrett Southgate. Eze posted 10 goals and 4 assists for the Eagles in the 2022-2023 campaign, which earned him a call-up to England's squad. However, Nigeria has been on the trail of the young star who told the then NFF chairman Amaju Pinnick that he should be given time before he decides which nationality he wants to pledge his allegiance with. And when the squad for the execution for England's Euro 2024 surfaced, Eze became one of the newest members to be called up. He told ESPN that it was the best decision he ever made in his career, leaving Nigeria to look elsewhere for another talent. On entertainment, Nigerian artist Shantizo has released a tracklist for his upcoming album, Dues. Shantizo is a family name in the Nigerian music industry as he recorded several exploits during the early 2010s when his music made major waves. After a lengthy time away from the mainstream, Shantizo is set to make a return with the new album. On June 13, 2023, he shared the tracklist for the upcoming album by social media platforms where he revealed the 10 tracks that are set to usher in his highly anticipated return. The tracklist reveals no features as Shantizo aims to remind listeners of his abilities with which he delivered records like Sholi, Loki Loki featuring Nice, Perfect Gentleman, Kilo Bay featuring Reminis, Igirombo featuring Tiwa Savage. That's it on the news updates. Do follow us for more updates on our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Official Remo TV. You can also visit our website at www.remotv.com.ng. I am Neil Mewji. Bye for now.